about a great big herd of cows. Another herd of cows. This is the third batch I've seen. Now I, I should have gone on another track. I could have avoided that. Now I've got a sort of pattern because I can't get onto a track that's probably not far away over there. And I'm not walking through the heather. If I see a track, I'll, I'll make a beeline for it, but it's right over there. I've got to get past these. Oh, I can't just walk across hill. I don't think there's a path there, I don't know. I think you've got to go past them. Have you? Yeah. I think I've got it. I'm putting the camera on, folks. As I pass these cows. They got horns. They got calves. I'm just gonna keep walking and try and ignore them. If I can. What are you gonna do if you can? I don't know. Um, there might be a path there I can go. Look. I think there's a path that you can turn off. getting worried and I haven't got far to go really. You can pick up that other path. Can I? Yeah, I think. There might be a path going up that way. It doesn't matter if you have to go a different way. Basically I just want you to go past them. Oh, now it means I've got to go down and then up. I think you'll find there's another path shooter and it's going to cut up there. Is it? Yeah, do it. Don't risk it. Don't risk it, Shell. It's right, it's just that some, some really, it's what's made me wary is somebody saying about the great big bull, a massive bull. But I'm sure they said it was a long horned, horned type. Um, anyway, there's a path, I'll, I'll follow this path. I just go past them. I ain't going to risk getting too close. They, they, I seen a calf a minute ago jumping about. Did you? Yeah. I'm open. I can go up there. don't really want to go down there. <laughs> don't you know? I've got a feeling it's a path. This takes me to Bicknollercombe. <laughs> It's all right, don't mind, there's plenty of time, there's no panic. i got to get on the path over there, look. We'll get on it in a minute, girl. Now turn off, you don't have to go down Bicknollacombe. But you could have, you still got to go up. You would have to have gone up. Wherever those cows were. Oh God, where, where do I join? To me, I feel like I'm going right, down. Folks, because I've had to divert away from a massive pack of cows, black, white and panda looking with frisky calves. I've actually doing a quite a big diversion round. Um, I think that's the third pat batch of, uh, of a herd that I've seen. And like I was just saying a minute ago, if, it had, if the woman hadn't said to me about the, that big bull that was with them, I wouldn't have diverted. She said this is, she was out the other night. This mass, there's a massive bull with huge horns that's been the herd. Well, I thought I ain't going near that. I'll go around. <laughs> they got calves as well. Yeah, they got calves. So I thought, oh, I ain't bothering. I ain't going. I ain't going that way. There's three different herds I've seen now. <sighs> They're all right. They are all right, but. If she hadn't told me about that great big bull, I probably wouldn't. I would have been all right. And I just seen them. Um... Right, time for a stop for a minute and a drink. Wanna go by that tree?
time for a rest for a second. If you don't move on those shells, those cows will move, they go ahead of you. <sighs> Just stop here for a minute. What you want to do, if you don't get a move on, they'll move up and they'll be ahead of you. I'm not really bothered, not really. Put your hat on, go. Those two boys are ahead of me. I don't know if they've gone over towards the cows or not. I've got to start wearing sunglasses. I had my eyes tested yesterday, or was it the day before? There's nothing wrong with my eyes, really. They tried to flog you, though. No, I ain't buying any. I don't need any glasses. I ain't spending 250 quid for nothing. I can see perfectly well there's nothing wrong with these. I've only just started wearing these. I've had them two years. They just started to work. So they were given to me too early, really. Big not a coom. I know it well. And I can see deer all over there. The deer love this um, part of the... You can see a big herd of deer. Normally I stop and take um, images of them on the way down. <sighs> Right, we're going uphill by the way, if I'm a bit breathless. I just had a quick jelly. Just a quick glucose fix. Quick drink. I've got a scarf on, you know. It was cold a minute ago. <laughs> and I put my top on. Let's stop a minute. Right folks, over there, straight ahead, I won't be able to see it, so I'm just aiming at the hill, is Beacon Hill. There's somebody climbing up it now, but I can't see a thing with this particular camera. It's, all I can see is a reflection from the screen, and um, it's really not good, this camera, for doing anything, really. So, um, it's alright for just general, but you can't zoom in, you can't see nothing. All I can see is my, my glasses and reflection. But over there, there is a path going up. I'm ca I've captured it on my camera. The Kodak's all right. The Kodak's better at homing in. Now, my, as I've said before, my really good Sony's, my really, 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 really good Sony's, they were able to home in on that person in white climbing up there. They'd be able to see what colour earrings they got on. Look at this lovely scene now. Isn't it gorgeous? And there's the hill fort now, look. See, over there? Across all the heather and the gorse. Over there. We're zooming a bit. I've been all over today, wandering about. I was right over there earlier, then there was a herd of cows. Too close for comfort, I thought. I'm doing Lady's Edge today. I'm not going down in the coombe, because I did Hodder's coombe, so that sort of compensated. Um, so I'm not doing... Um, I'm doing the very... Not that, not that path, I'm doing the lower one. I'm going to... I'm going to I like doing that. I like doing that little walk around there, it's nice. I like doing that. I'm doing that today. And I'm taking photos as I go. This is a lot prettier than what I was out two weeks ago. The gorse and the heather have really come out. 
you know, it's really come out. And I saw that person in white. Then this camera will zoom in on it. I can actually get a picture of that person, which will show up later when I put it on the computer. But with this one, I don't get glare on this one. With this one, for some reason, you just, you can't see what you're looking at with your naked eye on here. You just get, you get sunglasses, you have glasses looking back at you. It's really strange how it doesn't work. Anyway, it's a lovely, lovely day and I feel absolutely blessed. You know, I've been all over. I, I started over the other side of that hill, up that coom. I went up a coom, then I climbed up on top of the hill fort. I went round the hill fort, the other side of the hill that you can see. Over the other side of Pernap. All the way around, there's a road over there, all the way around, I got an ice cream and came back round. And the time is ten past two. I'm surprised how much I've done. I feel fit enough to do a lot more. But I've decided not to be silly. I'm going to go and do Ladies, I think it's called Ladies Edge. I'm going on a nice little wander around the edge there. And then back down to Holford. I'm not going up the fords because I'd done that the two weeks ago. I do like it. I love it loads. Um, but I, I like to vary it as well. Now in a minute we'll be coming up to what's called Bick Noller Coombe. And Weecombe Hill. This is Weecombe Hill here. And there's Weecombe Coombe, which I climbed up two weeks ago on one of my massive walks. I did a big hike two weeks ago, which I still haven't shared yet. Um, all these will get shared eventually, but you might not always see it. What I try to do, I, I, I might share the photos and perhaps put one or two of the videos on Facebook to start with before I start putting them on YouTube. But um, I've decided to start sharing stuff to Facebook because the YouTube won't let Facebook have my videos. So basically, I, um, I, I, I've got a family who'd like to see my stuff. They'd have to go on YouTube to see it. It's really strange how that's happened. In fact, um, there's a lot of things that Facebook won't let me share. That includes some of my ancestry stuff off Ancestry.com. It's terrible. Yeah, God, this is so much like a patchwork quilt, but isn't it woven? Yellow and purple woven everywhere. Yeah, look. It's absolutely gorgeous, everybody. And we're at the famous Bicknoller Post any second now. I'm not going up the first, I'm not going up that one, I'm going up a one slightly lower in a second. I like to do the lower one. I might have to take my scarf off in a minute. I only put it on, it got quite nippy earlier. Yeah, I mean, I've walked all the way round that Beacon Hill before. I've been up it, down it, God. I've been all round it. Gradually exploring. I've got a lot of exploring to do over West Barbara End, um, which I haven't finished. I'm waiting for the vegetation to die down a bit, though, before I do that, because I've got a feeling it's um, some of the paths I might want to use are going to be too overgrown. Oh, what's going on here then? Is there some sort of race on or? Oh, I see. Yeah, I've seen them all over the place, these flags. Oh, 
Well, here's the famous big mile post that we pass loads. The junction point for many travellers. I've been taking pictures of this for 50 years. <laughs> Maybe longer. It's still there. How is it this one I'm going up there? I've forgotten now. I've got distracted. We don't want to do the top one, remember? Is it that one I do? I've forgotten now. I've got a feeling it is. Or is it a lower one? No, it's a lower one, Sheila. Not that one. Yeah, it's the, it's the next track. That one goes on the top of the hill. This one keeps to the side. And we'll be above Hodder's Coombe, Shepherd's Coombe, when we transverse it. But we will be exposed to the sun. I think this is it. Let's hope it's not too overgrown, eh? I think this is it. Yeah, it is. Look out for some adders. I don't... Hmm. I don't know if people can see my videos if they're not on my Facebook page. I don't know. I was going to take my scarf off again. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Let's turn off a minute.